us start with second topic for this session. Now we have seen what is capital structure. Now capital structure just gave us an idea how to decide the various proportions as such. Now we have seen in finance as such the ultimate goal of finance is shareholders wealth. But when we study capital structure we have seen that the a shareholders wealth is maximized when you have more obligations. Right. So how do we do that? Do we take more debentures in a capital structure? Do we take more equity in a capital structure? This is what we are going to study, study under capital structure. But what is capital structure all about? Let's see that. The capital structure is a relationship among various long-term sources of finance. Now when you talk about long-term sources of finance, you restrict assets only to three sources, that is equity shares, debentures, preference shares. Retained earnings are a part of equity capital, so we assume only three sources of finance are there. And keeping them in mind, how do we decide the proportion? How much amount should be raised to equity? How much to debentures? And how much to preference shares? So deciding the suitable capital structure is all about maximizing the value of the fund. Whatever you go for, whatever capital structure should go for in finance, your value of the firm should increase. Similarly, in capital structure, how do we do that? We decide depending on the proportion. How much should be raised to each source? For example, if 10 crore funds need to be raised, if I say 80% should be equity, similarly 10% should be preference and remaining should be debentures, these proportions actually constitute as your capital structure. And capital structure is deciding about the proportions of various long-term sources of finance, the different sources of finance and how do you decide which source you should go ahead with as such. Similarly, capital structure is the permanent financing of a company and it is also mostly represented by long-term debentures and equity. So if you see capital structure just about deciding the proportions of the various sources of finance and different people gave us different definitions of the same. For example, you say one definition as such, what is capital structure? It's a mix of firms permanent long-term financing represented by debt, preferred stock and common stock equity. Similarly, there's one more definition. This is what is capital structure? The composition of firms financing com consisting of equity, preference, and debt. But whatever different definitions also we have, you see one thing is common. It's all decided about the relationship among the various sources of finance, be it equity, be it preference, or be it debentures. Now, the certain terminologies you should not get confused when you start up capital structure. They look one and the same, but they are not the same. You must have heard about terminology like capitalization, financial structure. These terminologies are not same as capital structure. For example, if I say I need 10 crore. For 10 crore, if I say I raise 5 crore to equity, 2 crore to debentures and the remaining through preference shares. Deciding these amounts is called as capitalization of a company. And what is capital structure? Capital structure is all about deciding the proportion, how do you raise funds. If I say 20% through debentures, 30% through preference and remaining through equity proportion, these proportions are called as capital structure. And in short, what is financial structure? It's the sum up of all the total of liability side of your balance sheet. Full liability side of your balance sheet is called as financial structure of a company. So what is financial structure? Your capital structure, when you add up current liabilities, gives you the financial structure of the company. Different small small differences between the same, but they should not be confused when you take up capital structure forward. And this is what capital structure is all about, deciding the proportion of various long-term sources of finance.